Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the last match between Google Frog and Capricious, which will be back on Titan Duel. This is Natalie the Don. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and this expedition match series is about to finish. Not sure who's going to win, but so far, Google Frog won in tandem creators with a bunch of glaze, and before that, Capricious won on Titan Duel with basically just gradual aggression, just plowing through and retaking metal extractors. Like taking off Google Frog and capturing them for themselves. So, how is this going to go out? Google Frog going for Hovercraft Factory. Okay, that's not something you see a lot, but something you used to see a lot. It comes and goes. It's one of those things that it's in fashion for a little while, and then people stop using it, and then people use it again. It's weird like that. And Light Vehicle for Capricious, because Capricious has been going consistently Light Vehicle on these large maps. I totally understand that. I think Google Frog's trying to experiment a bit. They went Shield Bot here first, and then went Cloaky Bot and Tandem Craters. I think Google Frog's partly trying to figure out how well bots work, because I know Google Frog likes to experiment. They do really enjoy trying out things just to see how it's going to work. I mean, it's important to them because they're one of the main people, I think they're the main person actually doing the balance design. So knowing how all these different matchups work on popular maps and figuring out, you know, does this factory even work viably or not? That's an important question. So I think that's a large part of what Google Frog's trying to do to answer it. This time, though, Hovercraft is actually doing... These these daggers doing a pretty good job here. Just hit and run on this one Scorcher. The Scorcher's dead, too. I mean, that, that there's no way the Scorcher's going to survive. This dagger will find it, and then it's gone. And then Capricious continuing to expand the same way they did last time. Google Frog expanding a bit more slowly, but they are playing a vehicle factory now. They do have a quill of their own. They do have basically that same speed. So it'll probably be a lot more even. So at this point, or Capricious is going to be just setting up everything they did last time, probably. Set up a bunch of Scorchers, set up a bunch of Metal Extractors, try to keep a line going so that Google Frog can't get in. It'll be a lot different, though, now. Against, against Shield Bots, you just don't have to worry about it as much. But against Hovercraft, the Hovercraft is basically the same speed. Or it's the same speed class. Like Glaives and Scorchers are about the same speed. I think they're actually... 111, 144. Okay, Glaives are a fair bit faster than Scorchers, but they're still really fast units, like fast Raider units and their vehicles in general. Like, it's just got that speed advantage overall as a group of units. On top of the fact that Daggers just one-shot everything if you have enough of them. Like, Google Frog just about does. Not totally, but almost. Yeah, that's death. That's bad for Capricious. Basically, they no longer have any easy way of expanding out the way they did last time. In fact, the Scorcher thing is probably a bad idea. Going for levelers, I don't know. I'm not really sure what you do against daggers like this. Levelers don't necessarily help just because of the... I mean, okay, they kind of help because the alpha matches up, but the daggers aren't necessarily going to be clumped up. Hmm, what else would you have? I don't remember if Hovercrafts right now trigger Claw Mines, so I don't know if Wolverines would even work. And otherwise, Ravagers, I mean, they'd tank a lot of shots, but it wouldn't really help too much. Hmm. Scorchers are not a great idea, though. Scorchers, for one thing, are kind of frail. They're a bit slower. They need to get up close, and the daggers don't. And also, the daggers have Line Splash. So when the Scorchers ball up, the daggers can rip through them, no problem. So there's not really an easy way of dealing with that. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that we're missing? Darts actually Oh yeah, darts! Darts might actually be worth it. They'd probably get they get two shot. Because daggers have like 110 damage. Yeah, they get two shot. But they're so much more economical. Oh, never mind. They're exactly as economical by damage. My mistake. Daggers cost 80. But yeah, that actually might be the answer. That or slashers, because then the slashers just deal with the daggers and just don't they do not put up with the dagger shit. Well, you just set up a bunch of slashers, the daggers try to come near it, and they're dead. And then when Halibur try to come in, you just have Scorchers around just in case. So yeah, Slash Scorchers seems like it'd be the way to go. At any rate, they are doing a decent amount of raiding too. Google Frog now ahead in economy. 
Capricious being a lot more timid this game than the last one. I mean, they still have their commander up front, but otherwise, the Masons aren't being pushed out as far. Stuff isn't being built up as much. I mean, it's not the Scorcher Ball as it was before, which is probably one of the reasons they're more timid. I mean, the Scorcher Ball before, that allowed Capricious to basically go anywhere they wanted to and tear everything apart. Now they don't have that option. Instead, it looks like they're just trying to keep everything up defensively, but without getting enough terrain or enough territory to really make it work. They do have a rough economic parity, though. The problem, however, is Google Frog hasn't really lost any units. Or has lost so few units that it pretty much doesn't matter. And with Google Frog playing Hovercraft and Daggers being a very critical mass focused unit ball, basically not losing units means getting that much closer to one shotting everything. Possibly even one shot multi kills just because of the way the line splash works. So yeah, Google Frog preserves these daggers, switching over to scalpels primarily, but still they're getting daggers. The more daggers they get, the more damage they deal right off the gate. So... I mean, Capricious for now... Basically, Capricious right now, they have these three metal extractors here, this one over here, and these two down the side. Though, they can take those for free. Just about. Not totally for free, but that's relatively safe. After that, it's going to be very difficult to keep going. Like, this, these corners, maybe, but it's tough. Southeast corner is... Sorry, the northeast corner is better defended than the southwest corner. So, they'll... We'll probably see Capricious expand over to the northeast, but I don't know. Last game, we didn't see the corners taken at all. Which is bizarre, because the corners are very useful. Kind of risky, but very useful. Of course, Leveler's coming in, which isn't going to do much. These Levelers are not going to last long. I mean, at this point, Scalpel hit it, it's dead. Yeah, that's not much damage dealt. One Radar Tower died. Big deal. Not a big problem. At this point, though, Capricious not really focused on defense right now. Not really building up what they need to to actually get their economy going. Google Frog, they're getting ahead. My point, though, before was that Google Frog kind of has the freedom to expand over to the corners without any concern. Whereas Capricious, after these next couple expand, at these next couple metal extractors, basically has nowhere to go. Not in a way that's going to be held for a decent amount of time, likely. I mean, right now, Google Frog, they know what's going on in the corners. Capricious also knows what's going on in the southwest corner, but not the northeast corner, so Google Frog could go to the northeast. It'd be a bit of a tricky thing, but it's theoretically possible. I still think Capricious would have an easier time taking the northeast, but I don't know. Now, I'm kind of surprised, actually, that Capricious has not tried to just factory switch something, I guess. Like, I don't know. Get Thunderbirds of their own and deal with... No, oh, no, Thunderbirds wouldn't work super well. Rapiers might work okay. You kind of need to... Sl the slow is not a bad idea. Banshees would be suicide. I don't know. I think air might not be the way to go either. The chat suggesting roach, which isn't a bad idea. Like, bait them into a roach and then blow up the roach, get rid of the daggers, and then that opens up for the vehicles to walk in. Not a terrible idea. Although those scalpels, I mean, that's that's the one problem, though. If the roach was spotted, the scalpels would take it out without any issue. And still enough daggers to be a pain. Yeah, enough units that's... A Capricious Commander is dead at the next volley. Where is it? It's... No! Survives again! And going for the Wolverine Mines, I guess they work on hovercrafts? I don't know. Wow, that was bloody, though. Well, okay, not bloody, but, you know, oily? I guess so oily. That was oily. That was a very... A lot of oil was spilled there. A lot of metal was wrecked in that fight. And Capricious kind of lost the territory. Very small amounts, but still kind of lost the territory. Anyway, so this is still kind of 
No, it's not even. Jose, it's still kind of potentially something Kippers could take back if they actually chose to and didn't just GG as soon as I was about to say something. Okay, so Google Frog takes that series 2 1. It was just a casual, friendly series, but still, it's nice to see sets sometimes. How yeah, they go for value? Yeah, Capricious is way down in value. Those daggers. Trying to deal with the daggers is a pain in the butt. Really just came down to the fact that Capricious couldn't kill as much as Google Frog could. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. So, thanks for watching and have a good night. I hope you enjoyed that.